Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Now we are working on a Mac. Let's quickly take a look on what system. It's OS X El Capitan. And then we've already downloaded, let's open that up. We've already went to Arch Labs Linux or archlabsblog.wordpress.com. Here we have a link to get Arch Labs ISO, which is 4.1, which is Yoda. That's why we are looking at Yoda at this point in time. So we have downloaded that already and we went to Oracle, VirtualBox, OS X hosts and we've installed that. So we have VirtualBox here, we have here the VirtualBox program and we have here the ISO and now we're gonna start loading it. So it says here new, which is a wonderful language but it's not a language we all speak. So let's go to preferences language English okay so we go to new and then when we say we're gonna install Arch Labs and he knows it's Arch Linux 64 super continue how many RAM do you have so I have four um, so I'm gonna give two to the hosts and two to the ghost <laughs> not the ghost the host and the guest and continue Create, continue dynamically, Arch Labs is fine, about 15 is what I give it, create, and that's it. Well, most of the time I want to, um, let's, no, sorry, let's first go into the settings. Let's do that first. It looks all a bit similar to Linux and to Windows, but a little bit different, but you'll find your way around it, so we have tabs. Okay, fine, system, we set the memory already, we can reset it if it's wrong. Okay, all is good. And here we have four CPUs, so I'm gonna give two to the guest and two to the host. Display, I'm gonna give 50-50. Enable 3D is fine, and storage, I'm gonna keep off of it. And you just check out what all the rest is, but normally I don't change anything there. Okay. What I wanted to say earlier on was most of the time I'll well, set it as it should be. So this is set as it should be. And then I clone it. And then I'm going to make an Arch Lab Yoda because that's what we have now launched 4th of June 2017. And this one can, or this one, uh, this is a template. This template can be reused for Linux Mint 18.2. Because we're waiting for the new release of it, so wondering how good it will be. So we'll need to install it in VirtualBox and eventually later on SSD. All right, this is the one that still is. Uh, we gonna load actually the ISO in this one, so this is a template we keep off, we just clone it for other things. But this one is going to be loaded up with choose disk image. Go to our downloads, Arch Labs, we can make it a little bit bigger here. Like so, so you can read the version. Open, here it is. And now again, go start. And you get all these messages again from VirtualBox. This is what I mean. You can get rid of it, read it of course, and then get rid of it by clicking here and here. Again here, don't show, capture, and I think we have it. As you can see, our CPU up there is all red, so it has trouble um, reading all that, and it's now stuck. So I'm gonna press enter anyway. My mouse is, is dead. Ah yeah, right. Probably the control key that we're gonna need to press, but no, no such luck. Ah, there she is. She's alive. Again, here we click without, we read it of course, and then we click it away. So this is what I mean, the CPU is all red. It's doing tough work. Camtasia is the tool I'm using to make the tutorial. And well, VirtualBox and Arch Labs are really demanding a lot of my computer. I suppose it's gonna take a little bit longer than usual, normally 15 seconds or so until it's loaded. But here we're gonna have to be a little bit more patient on this old 
Mac. Let's get rid of that. Anything else that's open that we can get rid of? I want to keep Virtualbox. And all the rest we have to keep. There are some stuff I can get rid of maybe. Voila, like so. Radio. And can I stop this? That's very little things. What's this? Something else. Okay. There we are anyway. It takes time for the machine to load. It's not due to Arch Labs, it's due to the hardware. It's quite old. But now it's put to good use. We're going to make a tutorial about Arch Labs and about VirtualBox. So that's how we set it up. Don't care about the wallpaper, don't even look at the com key. That's because I'm, I'm making it larger and it doesn't really know what to do with all that. If you want to fix it, you can. It's just a com key, meaning while he's working very hard to launch the second application, reload the com key and the second application is coming up. Okay. And the com key is from here till here somewhere. There she is. And the wallpaper is not an issue at all. Preferences, choose the wallpaper. Again, look at my CPU, 100%. You'll have to be patient for this tutorial. I'm not gonna buy a new Mac for you guys, unless you support me. Just a joke, I don't want a Mac. Apply, please. Anyway, when he's applying that, the wallpaper here is already nice, I guess. It's still ready to load. This is the program that's going to install Arch Labs completely on the system. Okay, fine. It takes seven steps, not technical at all, and you have your system. He knows that I'm in Brussels. Fine, don't have to change it. Keyboard is very important, of course, you should change it, otherwise you get the wrong things. Erase the disk. Next is my advice to all of you. Don't dual boot, just follow the general guides and install it. It's called Yoda, so I'm gonna call it Yoda. And here you go. Next. That's it. Those were the technical screens. Wow. That was difficult. So, let's get rid of that here. I don't know why it's still there, but gone. The wallpaper is, in the meantime, nice. As you can see, it's okay. The background. This is the program that's launched. It's just a hello, who are we, read me, release info, where's the wiki, where are the forums, where can you find information in chat. Tutorials were about 70 tutorials. I think we're at 69 at this point in time, just about Arch Labs. So if you want to learn about Linux and about Arch and Linux, this is the time. We have lots of tutorials. Kick back, listen to the explanations, and you'll get uh, a kickstart in Linux. Right, that's that. So it's still working. Don't uh, don't uh, be worried. It's in here, so we minimize and we maximize. While that's been doing its business, let's try and see if we can ask the CPU some more. And as you can see here, up here, it's gonna is is working very, very, very hard. Poor brother. Okay. So, what else we have for Arch Labs? We have a Facebook page. Oh God! I have to sign in again. Okay. One moment. Fine. Sign in. Oh, get out of it. Sessions. One other thing this last pass. Is it 
backwards. But anyway, we're already where we want to be. Um, this is the Arch Labs Linux page. A lot of information is going to be posted here. Not now, thank you. It's okay. It's enough for us here now. And then we have also the forum questions to be asked. Go to the forum. A lot of people are there. I'm not the only one. So ask questions around if we're not uh, there, meaning if we're sleeping. Okay, fine. Then uh, other people will help us help you in our place. So that's fantastic. And then we have, of course, the, the Google Plus. A lot of the information about Linux is on Google Plus. So, and specifically for us, it's this name, Arch Labs Linux. And here we have this information about the release of Yoda or Arch Labs 4.1. But I keep making more and more tutorials to tell you guys how to work with Arch Labs because there are so many jewels inside that are always hidden. A jewel is never in plain sight. You have to go look for it. And it's plenty, plenty of um, Easter eggs. So um, it's up to you to really pay some, some time in the YouTube channel here with articles on Eric Dubois, which is me. So I have the website, which is one thing, and we have the YouTube channel, which is another, and both actually make the complete picture. So um, there's the text, which is on my site, and there's the tutorial, which is on YouTube. So all the information, all the problems go in here. If there are problems, discussions, hardware, news, screenshots, and so on. Uh, just post them here. If we're not around, somebody else will pick in and help you. So it's a community that helps each other. That's the idea. And um, voila, that's that. So I recommend you do use Google Plus if you have not done it before. It's interesting to do it. And then Arch Labs um, beta testers, we, you get invited. Uh, just for us beta testers, invite only. So it's up to us if we feel that you could, could contribute and you're ready to install and reinstall and reinstall and reinstall and reinstall an ISO, um, then uh, we, we will invite you, simple as that. Then uh, there's one thing more, which is the GitHub. So on the GitHub, you can always post more issues or ask questions and all that. So this is where our information is. When we make an ISO, we're gonna take the latest states of things and burn it. So that's what we've done. And we can now download it in the, at the sourceforge.net. Uh, quite uh, a bit um, curious to see. We are now at 1688. But that's the total this week. And 4.1 is now at 1208. Oh, sorry, but you have to click here. This gives us more information. So we launched it that June 4, 5188. And today, yes, that's today, 165 downloads. So everything's going well. People have discovered the ISO. And that's just um, swell, like you say in English. That's just swell. I will have to keep talking because we have 22%. It's, uh, you know, hardware does not work well here. But it doesn't matter. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff to tell you to, to more about Arch Labs. For instance, so Arch is Arch Linux. You can always look at the wiki of Arch Linux. It's one thing. If you're in trouble, if you have hardware problems, so it's mostly it's, it's that, that there's some specific kind of hardware. And then it's it's not an Arch Labs issue, it's just a hardware issue, and you have to solve it. And but the wiki of Arch Linux is quite good. They are quite um, extensive and, and um, well we we'll have you have to figure it out and read about it and, and see if you can understand what you're supposed to do. That's one. There is also the Arch Linux forum where you can ask questions if you're stuck. Arch Linux is um, one thing, so that's it's Arch Labs is based on Arch Linux, and then we are choosing for a desktop management. So we can use GNOME, you can use Cinnamon, you can use Budgie, and lots of others. But we've chosen Open Box. 
means that actually we don't have a menu. There are people who say, you don't have a menu. Yes, we have six menus, my friend. But they're not here, they're not there, they're not there. They're not at the usual places. It's a right mouse click and you have your menu. That's one menu. There's also the run program, which is Alt F2, which is also a menu. So that's another one. So that's number two. And there are plenty of uh, menus like that, like uh, what else is there? Control spacebar, it's a Rofi menu, but I am really asking a lot of the system. There it is. There is a Command F3 I have to press, I hope. I don't know if it's going to work here on a Mac. So it's um, Super F3 that I should press. Let's try again. Whoops. Not a good idea to do that. Where is it? Okay, so we'll have to do that with another sh shortcut key. So anyway, um, so there are six ways and there's an article on Eric Dubois. Oh, we could go to that website, of course, some uh, advertisement for my sites, short thing. So, ta -da -ta 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 -ta. there it is. So I just wrote this article, Arch Labs Yoda has six menus and can show all applications in the menu. So yes, go check it out. All information is there. There is also a way to make Arch Labs, to design Arch Labs. So Arch Labs Nemesis is what I call installing extra software, installing themings and, and stuff like that. So making it your own. It, that's the in, in, intention actually and there's no problem with the users if you just check these out. This example, that example. People are really making an uh, Arch Labs their own. I mean we never made this look. This look has created has been created with by a user. So that's the fun I think in Arch Labs as well that, that appeals people that with the software and the elements we give them, icons, themes and so on, the plank, that people can get to work. They can design, they can create and they feel, whoa, they feel the possibilities and it's up to you to be creative and to figure it out. But together with me, I mean 69 tutorials uh, until now, let's quickly have a look at the YouTube, how many tutorials I do have at this point in time. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, 777. Ain't that nice? I didn't know that. So, 777 videos, but 69 videos about Arch Labs. So, I'm counting them, so I still have an idea how many uh, Arch Labs videos I've made. Should we check? Should we check? No. Keep talking, Eric. So, a lot of information is in here. You just start by one, or, or I don't know. Go ahead, there's also a possibility here in Arch Labs 4.1. There's an overview, these are all overview stuff, so general information. And you can just check those out. For instance, an easy way to do it is by scrolling over here, that's okay, here. In this, this is the playlist. If you click on here, it just can read already. I say, Okay, what has the been done, I've been doing? I mean, Arch Linux is difficult for me, first time Linux, I don't, I'm afraid to do it, uh, difficult. And then you see what topics I'm using. I think when you read all this, and it doesn't matter if it's 3.40 and so on, it's still open box, it's still Arch Labs, it's just a number, a lot of things have stayed the same and you probably will learn it as much from these first tutorials than from the last one. But it's up to you to, um, well, to give it some time or, and here's also information of what I told where you can find everything, uh, our Google Plus community, the forum and the GitHub. So the videos have been told, I told you that, and here you can as well, Installation, these are the things to information about the installation, just that how to install Yoda and so on. And the other ones is everything 
So the settings is anything else, not installation. And here we will find a lot of information as well. So the YouTube and the articles go together hand in hand. Here's more explanation and then you watch the tutorials. A lot of conkeys. A conkey, maybe something you don't know. This is a conkey. It supplies us information about hardware, about temperature, about the uses of RAM, memory, eh, or the internet up and down, uh, communication, kilobytes, megabytes, and so on. Um, all kinds of information. So that's a conkey. That's this here. And Nemesis again. So how to customize the look, make the look your own. Or my own nemesis is my customization bluetooth if you're a user of uh, bluetooth headphones it just works fine it works out of the box i should have said 4.1 bluetooth out of the box everything works so that's yoda 4.1 um, lots of things lots of explanation how to install software middle also an article about software recently I haven't, haven't written an article about it yet we'll do it maybe here do you want to get an overview of all Linux applications use GNOME software it's a great tool it shows you all the Linux software there is and as you might know Linux is free there's no App Store and there's no Windows Store it's just downloaded from the internet in our case it's downloaded from AUR, which is maybe also, let's check at the time here. Oh, he's, he's moving along, fine. No problem, move along. So, um, we're talking about Arch Linux. Arch Linux Wiki. That's one thing you should bookmark. Okay, done. And the other one, I Google mostly with a war packages. <coughs> Sorry. So that's another one. And the Arch user repository is where people are keeping a kind of script, kind of way to install software. So all these things here are software. And you see, for instance, something you recognize, Google Chrome, Skype for Linux. So these programs can be installed on Arch. So, also on Arch Labs. So, everything is possible um, and free. France is something maybe you know. The Tor browsers, maybe a name you know. A name you know. Edger is something you know. Vivaldi is maybe something you know. Visual Studio is maybe something you know. Spotify is also a very known name. So, any of these things all work on Arch Labs. There's a lot of tools that are installed standard and we've um, explained here actually the difference between 4.0 and 4.1 so what new software can you expect on Arslas 4.1 for the users of 4.0 they get to know okay look that and that and that is new so that's described in the article and in the tutorial but if things are not installed you just install them and that's quickly it's easy it's free and it just works. Another question maybe for from, from the Windows kind of guys. Uh, do I need an uh, antivirus software or anything like that? No, that's not necessary on Linux. I never use it. But uh, there is antivirus software, which might be interesting if you have an, uh, a USB coming from Windows and you want to scan if everything is okay and so on. But normally a virus in Windows cannot do a whole thing. On Linux, on Arch, on Linux in general. Okay, so we have Arch Linux with packages we get from the AOR, and I haven't told you anything about OpenBox. So, OpenBox is a desktop management system. So, if you right mouse click, we have this menu, and this is part of the OpenBox menu. We could maybe take a look if there's some information as well online. Um, I think the best thing to type is display manager arch. I think that gives us a beautiful list. I 
hope it does. Um, I think it does. So, open box. Let's look for it. Which we'll find. Open box. Yep, that's in. Oops, sorry. Open box, open box, open box, open box. No, that's not here. So we have GNOME, KDM, LightDM, LXDM, NDM, SDM, open box, voila. So a better, maybe desktop environment is maybe a better word to do it. Go, my friend. Go. Ah, that's better. So on Linux, you can install all kinds of desktop environments, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deeping, Enlightenment, GNOME, GNOME. KDA like D and so on, Mate, Sugar, XFCE. And I had hoped somewhere <laughs> to find open box. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, let's do it again, control find, open box. There you are, open box is there, but. Okay, fine, open box is mentioned somewhere, at least. But open box is an. Uh, one of those choices you can make to be able to watch to have a desktop environment. Open box. Yes, okay, this is the one. Openbox.org. Ah, here's another one, ArchWiki, open box. So this is the website and maybe it's a better thing. Let's quickly have a look. Nope, you know. Keep talking, Eric. Oh, oh, oh this one, huh? Wiki, Arch Linux. So this is all the information we have on Openbox. You don't have to read it. I've read it. It's in the system. It's in there. So that's okay. And maybe a picture or two would be nice. So these are all images of Openbox. So you get the drift and you know what you're getting into. These are the pictures of people from different distros. This is the icon for Manjaro. Distro, there's Antergos open box. Oh, what else is there? There are lots of open box applications. I must say, these are the, first, the two that come to mind. But I guess there will be others as well. So that's open box for you. Checking 25%. Slow computer, long speech. What else? We watch Linux, our AUR, we can install package software there. We have also the GNOME software program we can uh, get software from, information from. We have a lot of, inform a lot of stuff installed, browsers, printers, Bluetooth, all these kind of things that normally bug us and say oh no I have to figure out how that works just should work out of the box not that I say should work and um, I'm really thinking very hard what is more important what's also important I think next up for me to tell you is that um, Linux sorry that um, Arch Labs is filled but really packed with shortcuts why well, mainly because I like shortcuts. <laughs> I tend to go to keyboards. It's quicker than getting the mouse and clicking somewhere. So I'm also an i3 user, so Arch i3. And um, I've been using that as well. So it's also plenty uh, filled with, with all these keyboard shortcuts. There's nothing more pleasant than pressing Ctrl Alt F and you have Firefox, Ctrl Alt G, Chrome, and so on. Um, so these shortcuts are very useful and it's really packed. You should check them out, the shortcuts. Ah, already at 51, coming to our end. So plenty of shortcuts, I can show that as well here. So display keybinds, just don't want to make it even harder for the guy to make this here. So display keybinds gives us an overview of all the keyboards that there are. In system settings, you can uh, change um, Gpart, for instance. You can uh, open as root, you can open as uh, Genie. Uh, so, Genie is a program, and 
application to edit text. So you can open it as administrator. Um, there is preferences here up here for um, appearance as well. Voila, appearance. So lots of things that appear, meaning icons, themes, fonts, cursors, stuff gets um, rearranged, uh, re layout, re, re, re themed, re, re pimped. If you see the creations from users from Google, Google Plus, check them out. It's awesome. It's completely different. It's nothing what we ever anticipated. It's beautiful. It's just a work of art. So thank you guys for that. Well, all the parts in here are mentioned. There's open box. Compositor just works, so normally you don't have to go in there. A conkey is here. We can choose, I don't know, 15 conkeys or so. I haven't counted them. Each time there's a conkey more. And tin 2 is the thing up here. We can arrange, put it back down, put it to the left, put it to the right, change the color, so that's that. And finally, finally. So I'm gonna quit here. Um, and what I do next, so exit. Why am I quitting and not restarting? I'll show you in a moment. Let's let wait, shut down, please. It's virtual box. We loaded our ISO and next time when it boots I want to stop him telling okay now it, now I can do it we're still closing and, and say okay it's empty so don't look at your DVD which is uh, this line here just start it and let's have a look I think it's really hard for him Camtasia is uh, recording this thing is working, it is really struggling. Let's make it bigger. Uh, I guess you won't see it a little bit down there because I'm recording on 1920, 1080. So I'm gonna do it like so. Later on I will count how many seconds it takes to boot on the Mac. But normally it's count in my SSD, it takes six seconds on a Virtual box, what was it again? I really want to tell it, tell the reality and the truth, and the truth shall be known to the release 4.1. We do boot in about, more or less, depending on your hardware, 15 seconds. So, 15 seconds is not too bad. So, I'm gonna count later on how long does it take our Mac to boot because it's really taking a lot longer. I count from the group line when I say enter in the group and I stop counting when the wallpaper shows up. That's my rule. That's that. No wallpaper, can't stop the timer. This is our Arch Labs Hello, that is something new. That's a little icon here. That's gonna tell us who we are where you find your information, tutorials, and so on. So do check it out. I think I've mentioned everything already in this uh, tutorial. But anyway, this is hello. And I guess the wallpaper is not coming. Uh, that's possible too. No problem there. It's a bit uh, sluggish, my computer. So choose wallpaper. I'm going to push him. Say apply. Come on. Do your job. So there you go, I can finally put my Mac to rest. This is Arch Labs installed on a Mac in VirtualBox. Um, a, a lot of in explanations and, and, and directions and information tips and, and, and all that have gone into this tutorial. I hope uh, the sounds good, it's not too sluggish because I'm wondering what the result would be with the CPU 100%. Anyway. Enjoy our Arch Labs, um, check it out on your machine on, on Mac and if you like it maybe you'll install it on SSD because that's where it's supposed to be. Okay, cheers. <laughs>